friends and family, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, bienvenidos. My name is Joanna. Nice to meet you and please consider subscribing and joining our wonderful fusion family where we're all about good food and diversity. Last week I asked you guys what recipe you were most curious to see and it seems like jet thai was the most popular choice. Now jet thai is a popular Vietnamese Thai inspired dessert. It's very simple and essentially it's a fruit cocktail topped off with coconut milk. So very refreshing. Perfect for a warm sunny day. I'm leaving all the ingredients, measurements, as well as substitutions down in the description box. So by the end of this video, I hope that no matter where you guys live, you can try making jet thai at home. So before I continue rambling, let's get started. Here are the ingredients for today. A can of water chestnuts, sugar, some water, coconut milk, a can of lychees, a can of toddy palm seeds. If you haven't had these before, they have a delightful soft jelly-like texture and a subtle sweetness. A can of jackfruit. You can also use fresh jackfruit if you can find it in your area. Jackfruit is a Southeast Asian fruit that tastes a bit like mango, pear, pineapple, banana, and papaya all at once. I'll also be using coconut gel, also known as nata de coco, which is chewy and sweet. Some pandan extract, which has a rich nutty flavor and is used in a lot of Asian desserts, similar to how vanilla is used in the Western Hemisphere. Some kind of red food coloring. I'm going to be using one that's been infused with rose extract, but any kind of red food coloring will do. Some agar agar powder, but you can use gelatin instead. Agar agar is similar to gelatin except that it's derived from algae and gives jelly products a more crisp texture. And some tapioca starch. To a saucepan, add the agar agar powder followed by some water, some sugar, and the pandan extract. Give it a good whisk and set over a medium-high flame. Continue whisking until it begins to boil very slightly. Now transfer to a mold. Here I'm using a 9 inch casserole dish that's about 2 inches deep. We want the jelly to have about an inch in depth. Cool to room temperature before placing in the refrigerator to set. This can take between 1 to 2 hours. After the jelly has set, run a knife along the edges and it also helps to run a warm wet towel alongside the exterior of the mold so that the jelly can loosen completely. Place a cutting board on top and carefully flip over. It should come right out. I'm going to be using this knife with this special wavy design, but you can use any knife as well. This just gives a prettier presentation to the jelly. You can make your pandan jelly strands as long or as thin as you like. It's really a matter of preference. I like to cut mine into 4 inch strands with about a quarter inch thickness. Once cut, set aside. Using a wet towel, clean the top portion of all the canned products to remove any dust or dirt from the can's exterior before using a can opener to open each can. Next, drain the water chestnuts and give them a quick rinse before draining well and setting aside for later use. Drain the canned syrup into a pitcher. Here I'm draining the lychee syrup followed by the toddy palm seed syrup, the jackfruit syrup, and lastly the coconut gel syrup. We'll be using this syrup cocktail to sweeten our dessert so set aside for later use. Cut the lychees into strips like so. Then cut the toddy palm seeds into strips and lastly cut the jackfruit into strips as well. To make the chestnut rubies, pat the water chestnuts dry with the paper towel. This will help us later on. Next, cut the water chestnuts into small cubes similar to this. Now set aside. To a bowl with the water chestnuts, add a few drops of the red food coloring of your choice. You don't want to add too much because we want to avoid the tapioca from clumping later on. Now mix well until all the pieces have been colored with the red food dye. Next, add the tapioca starch and mix well. You want to keep mixing until all the pieces have been evenly coated, but there's still a tiny bit of red visible. See? Sift the coated chestnuts over the sink to remove any excess tapioca starch. To a pot with boiling water, add the coated chestnuts and be sure to mix for a few seconds to prevent the chestnut pieces from sticking to each other. Allow to cook for about 3-5 to five minutes or until all the pieces have floated to the top. Remove from the pot and place in ice water to stop the cooking process. When ready to assemble the dessert, drain the chestnut rubies from the ice water and transfer to a bowl. Aren't they pretty? These will give our dessert a pretty pop of color and a nice crunchy texture. Here's all the components to assemble the jet thai dessert along with some crushed ice and the syrup cocktail which will be used as the sweetener for the dessert. To a serving glass, begin layering the components. I like to add some of the chestnut rubies first, followed by some lychee, then some jackfruit pieces, and some toddy palm seed, some of the coconut gel, along with some of the pandan jelly, and some more chestnut rubies. Then add as much of the crushed ice on top as you like before filling the glass about 3 quarters of the way with the cocktail syrup and top it off with the coconut milk. I like to garnish my jet thai with some extra chestnut rubies and some mint for an extra pop of color. You can also prepare a big batch of jet thai for a large gathering ahead of time by adding everything into a punch bowl. Essentially adding all the dessert components at once without having to layer them in a certain way. Just add some ice and enough of the cocktail syrup to cover everything. Give it a mix to prevent the chestnut rubies from clumping together and add the coconut milk about 30 minutes before serving to guests. Mix well again and your guests are ready to help themselves to this refreshing treat. 
No matter how jet thai is served, it's such a pretty and festive tropical dessert that's not too sweet and really refreshing. Perfect to help cool off on a sunny day. Jet thai is a fruity beverage dessert that's very unique with all its various textures and flavors that come together so nicely. I hope this recipe inspires you to give jet thai a try sometime too. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to join our wonderful fusion family. But again, guys, like always, I'm sending you off from Un beso enorme, se me cuidan, and I'll see you guys next time. Suerte. I just want to squeeze you, but I can't. Say hi. Don't make my nose silly.